next up at UFC Vegas 88, we have a new matchup here. We have Tiago Moises taking on Mitch Ramirez. Tiago Moises, 17-7 and seven overall. Two and three in his last five. He is coming off that pretty one-sided loss to Benoit St. Denis. He is taking on Mitch Ramirez. Mitch Ramirez, eight and one overall, four and two in his last five. He is making his short notice UFC debut. You've seen Tiago's name before. He's been around for a while. He's fought some of the best people in the division. How old is he? Do you know? Without looking. Uh, I The only reason I know is I have it in my notes. Yes. He... Um, has fought some of the best people in the division. He has been around for quite some time. And he's very well-rounded. He's a slick grappler. Does a really good job staying dangerous while being composed. He's always going to maintain position first. And then work towards a submission. Not pounce. Not try to create a scramble. Just work methodically towards a submission. And even though he is primarily a grappler. He averages about one takedown per fight. He has technical striking. And he can hang with most people. He uses low kicks to set up takedowns. He's surprisingly young. Given his experience, especially that experience in the octagon. And he's coming off the second round finish loss to Benoit St. Denis, where it was pretty one sided. He gave up five takedowns, and also his strikes were five times as well, which is not great. He's taking on UFC newcomer Mitch Ramirez. This guy's a solid wrestler who has decent striking. He throws a ton of leg kicks. He uses them to set up his takedowns. When he gets it to the ground, he's looking for control more than a finish. But he does have plenty of power both on the feet and on top. Overall, well-rounded guy. And he welcomes this opportunity for a second attempt at the UFC. Moises was taken down five times in his last fight. And mauled. Absolutely mauled. And Mitch is a wrestler. But he's not as good of a wrestler as Benoit St. Denis. I don't see the same level of wrestling there. I think Thiago wins the striking exchanges. And I think he's a good enough grappler to either defend the takedowns or sweep if he is taken down. Uh, I like Tiago Moises. I'm surprised these odds are here. I don't know what they are right now this minute, Jakey boy, but... Minus 425. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. When they, I looked at them earlier. I didn't see them when they were minus 335, but I saw them at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon at minus 360. And I was like, all right, that's interesting. Maybe I'll parlay him. And I just decided not to. But um, he should be a minus five, minus 600 favorite here. So what do you think, Jakey boy? Uh, that's actually kind of funny because I literally did the exact same thing. I saw the 360 because when I broke down this fight, obviously the, the odds weren't available. And I was like, I bet Tiago's like fucking minus 500. So when he opened up minus 360, I did the same thing. It's like, I don't want to play Tiago. I don't trust Tiago that much to put fucking minus 360 on him. But I'll throw him in a parlay with someone, another you know like-minded individual, and see what we can get. And then I was looking up and down the card after I'd already placed a, a few money line bets already. We want picks.com. You can see what those are. By the way, Angela, I'm 15 and 6 in parlays in 2024 and I got two more up there for this week 15 and 6 on parlays is pretty fucking wild a lot of them is those two or three legs that you love that I've adopted and just absolutely excel that but I was going to do that with Tiago and I did the same thing I looked at the rest of the card and I was like yeah, you know, because like, yeah. the same. If you look at like, I mean, fucking Gerald Mearshire, we'll get there. But like minus two thirty, it's crazy. But yeah, Tiago being twenty eight is a big surprise. A lot of experience. Uh, already taken, unfortunately, a little bit of more damage than he probably would like to take at twenty eight years old. But he should be the better fighter in this match. I mean, Mitch coming in short notice is probably gonna be a tough dude. But I think it's gonna be the grappling that's gonna be there for Tiago, right? Even if Mitch is trying to shoot takedowns, Tiago is is a really really high level grappler. He's got his own wrestling, and he's not so he's not just like a pure like jujitsu nerd he can sweep he can defend he can get on your back when he gets on your back he's very very dangerous that's his bread and butter i think eventually the fight gets there even if tiago's shooting a, a takedown i think he might be able to get it and on the feet mitch just seems a little bit stuck in the mud uh for a lot of these 155ers that he's going to run into uh kind of higher level guys because tiago even you know at 17 and 7 he still has those attributes of being like a top 15 lightweight but uh, i like tiago in this matchup and um yeah, now it's it's probably where it should be. Minus 425, somewhere around there. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger because I looked at it. I'm like, he should be a massive favorite, but I don't. I was just looking at that number and I just didn't. And we also, I specifically had a, Jacob made money last week as well, but I had a ton of success. I, I hit every single bet I put on the board. Two safety parlays. I was very happy. Oh, I hit uh, four parlays last week. Congrats. I was so very you happy. What, you said you hit two? I was very happy. Oh, so like double. Okay. With how last week went, 
And then I'm looking at this card and it's like, ah, man, I don't, I don't love it. The underdogs that I liked have not become larger dogs or in Corey's case became a favorite. Chelsea Chandler will break down. She is becoming a bigger and bigger dog. I might look at that a little closer. But there's a there's I just don't I don't love a lot of spots here. I have my safety parlay ready to go. I was actually waiting to see Tiago's odds to see if I could add him as a third leg. Decided against it. But I'm definitely gonna get a little more action going. I just want to wait a little longer, let us settle in. There's no reason to rush. There's no reason to rush. How's his neck look? No. Whose neck? Yours? I got that. I've been doing some shrugs and shit, man. This thing's fucking locked. I'm gonna be walk around. I mean, you see me coming when I'm when, when I'm in when I'm in Las Vegas, and you see me on the strip rolling like this. I mean, what are you gonna think? Right. I mean, if you're walking, just play role play a little bit. You're coming my uh -huh. way, and you see me. I'm like, so the. What's your reaction? How you feeling? You like is that intimidating guy? Is that guy hot as shit? Like what's your reaction? No, like I'm a I'm a good I'll I'll probably reach in my wallet, give you ten, and say good luck, man. Sorry. Sorry what's going on with you, but here you go. Good luck. Well, because Vegas has like a terrible homeless and drug problem and and that's what that looks like. You'll see some human shit on the sidewalk every <laughs> Yeah, time. Vegas is actually pretty fucking gross, dude. They have the uh, like the homeless spikes everywhere. They try and keep the, the homeless people at least off the strip and stuff where they put the. So it they didn't matter. Like when we went there, and... when I was there for UFC eighty four, whatever it was, um, that when Tiff took me for my birthday there, I was shocked at how many homeless there were. Like it was, and like tweakers, not regular. Oh, they're fucking tweakers. throwing up on the sidewalk. I watched one guy. I was like screaming. Like, like people were just screaming, walking by, yelling. and I'm like, I think somebody should fucking call nine one one. This dude's fucking like having a full ass fucking seizure, fucking throwing up on himself and stuff. It's crazy. oh no, it's dude. Vegas is. I'm I'm shocked at a city built off of that kind of tourism hasn't. Like at least the strip, like at least like clean this shit up. Yeah. Push, push you know, it three great. blocks out in either direction. I don't care. Clean the strip. I'm surprised they haven't done that. Most cities do that. I mean, that's what San Francisco has tried to do. Well, that's what like, I was going right, to say. This is where tourists to, go. Clean this part up. Yeah. San Francisco is known as like the, the fucking shit city now and like homeless people everywhere. I went to San Francisco a year and a half ago. Literally in San Francisco, I went to San Francisco Giants uh, Dodgers game, game five for the playoffs, and uh, Giants lost unfortunately. But I mm. walked back to my hotel. Me and my cohort walked back a mile and a half through the back alleys of San Francisco. I mean, we we're just following the shortest way Google would take us a mile and a half back to our hotel, and I, I I saw like one homeless person. I was expecting to have to like fight for my life in the back alleys and stuff, and there was like <laughs> it was like just a normal city. So I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Must have been a different area than. No, I think the they've waters. pushed the homeless outside of some of the tourist areas. But anyway, no, and, and it's not, I don't know. I was surprised that, like, we, homeless doesn't bother me. Going to New York my whole life, that doesn't bother me. I don't care about that. Dude, and that's what I the love about Indianapolis. The tweakers is what bought, like, screaming. We went into the mall screaming and yelling like tweakers. Yeah. Well, that's like, what I loved about ask Indi for money, you keep walking, you get screamed at. It's like, about uh, Indianapolis is when I lived there. It's it's bad. It's kind of bad now. But when I lived there, there was like no home. There was never any homeless people in Indianapolis. It's fucking beautiful. Anyway. Yeah. Well. Oh, like the stream. People are saying that if you get this up to 200 likes, that I'll start singing. And it might be possible. So like the stream if you haven't already. Okay. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.